provided much better thing and much more they might have better acting skills than most of the actors in the industry. But still they are not there in the market, isn't it? Why? Because they have not got an opportunity. Tomorrow you complete your degree and you come out in the market looking for a job. You might be very good with academics. You might be super talented. You might have excellent skill set. But you need to get an opportunity to perform, right? And how do you get an opportunity? By having a good personality. You need to get noticed by people, isn't it? So, at Expat Life, as I mentioned earlier, we train you and groom you on your personality development, along with obviously the education. And personality development was something which was not given much importance in your back. But for the past few years, personality development has become extremely important, especially for the young So a lot of people think that having a good personality means uh, being born good-looking. Is that how it is? No. So good-looking is just a part of it. But having a good personality involves having great communication skills, Having a body language, having a good interpersonal skills, your etiquettes, all this as a whole become a part of your personality. Now, a lot of students have self doubt. Can I say it over the name? Can I make a support in the name? Or some of self doubt of that, right? Not just students, even adults, we all have self doubt. Like whether I will be able to do it or not, right? Do you know who this kid is? Anyone? Messi? Does anyone know the story? How many of you all know the story? Messi. Messi, that guy. You all know who is a great footballer. Apart from that? Okay. He's a young boy. He's a young boy with big dreams. Now this kid went on playing football. Ever since he was two to three years of age, he was always with the ball. And one day, his parents said that this guy is really good football. Let's take him for a tryout. So they take him for a tryout in one of the biggest clubs in the country. And the people who were watching him, they said that this boy is very good. But what's wrong with him? Something is not right with his kid. And they said he looks very small. So they take him to a doctor. And when the doctor examined him, the doctor said, yes, Something is definitely not right with this kid. And it's not a small thing. It's a big thing. And the big thing is that this guy is born with a growth hormone deficiency. Which means his body will not grow behind the body. So the people from the club who were there to sign a contract with him, they said, no, this kid is not broken. We are not here to fix this child. And then they left. He said, this kid is broken. We can't do anything about it. And then they left. Have you ever felt broken in your life? Have you ever felt, I am not good enough? I am not capable enough? I am not attractive enough? I don't have enough friends. I don't have enough money. So there is something to open that. You all have that feeling, right? And I'm very sure everyone at some point in time must have reached that stage in life. But you know what is he did? He said, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to focus on my dream. And I'm going to make my obstacles smaller and my dream bigger. And even if it 
fell sticking needles into his bed every night as a part of his treatment just to make sure just to ensure whether the medicines are working on him. He said, I will make my obstacle smaller and my dream bigger. He kept focusing on his dream. And he said, so what if I am not as big as the other kids? So what if I am not as tall as the other kids? I will learn to play football in a different way. And so he did. And this kid kept on believing in his dream. He kept on focusing on his dream. And he was once named Lucky in Spanish, which means tiny. He became the greatest player of all times. And he is none other than He has been awarded the best player seven times in the world. And when I say seven times, seven times in three different decades. And that says a lot about him. He focused on his dream. He made the obstacle smaller and his dream bigger. We all have problems in life, isn't it? And we show everyone who has problems in life. But what is more important is should we focus on our problems? We should focus on our attitude. What defines you is not the problem. What defines you is your attitude. Because attitude is not a small thing. It is a thing. And we at Ed Stand Life, we train students on how to have that right attitude in life, how to have a winning mindset. Because tomorrow you go into a foreign university, you go into getting a job in the market, you need to be focused and you need to have a right mindset. So this is a part of our personality development. We also train you on communication skills. Now communication is an integral part, not just for your career. It is also something that we do on an everyday basis. So when we communicate, 7% is the use of words, 38% is the tone of your voice, how you speak, and 55% is your body language. So it's only 7% that is your words, but 38% is how you say a sentence. So we work on your voice population, we work on your intonations, your voice, okay? We work on your body language. Now this is something which is neglected in a part of our organization. Now when we speak, knowingly or unknowingly, we show body language, right? Now as in the time I will come here, you might be judging me on my body language as well. Isn't it? Now when I see you all sitting here, based on your body language, I can make a lot of assumptions on what this. Now you see the first picture. The vivid brain is. So every action means something as part of the body language. When you are talking to someone and the person is talking to you like this, shows that the person might be lying or hiding. Because it shows your nerves. It shows the signs of nervousness. Rubbing your ear. It shows your nerves. And this is something that we do soothe, soothe ourselves, calm ourselves. Fidgeting with a pen or a pencil or something in hand, shaking your leg. That's a lot of people doing it, especially outside and in the cabin. We get nervous. We keep doing this, this, sucking our feet, shaking our hands. It's the sign of nerves. Covering your mouth while speaking. When you're talking to someone, you the person is talking to you. It might indicate that the person. 
person is hiding something or not revealing everything about that situation or is lying. I want that. Suppose I tell you that I want that. Which country is the best country for you to go? 
फॉर एग्जांपल अगर किसी को इंजीनियरिंग करना है या इंजीनियरिंग कर रहा है या बीएससी आईटी कर रहा है जो भी कोर्स में हो वो और आपको मास्टर्स करने के लिए बाहर जाना है तो कौन से फैक्टर आप ये करेगा आपकी पढ़ाई करने के बाद आफ्टर यू फिनिश योर एजुकेशन यू गेट अ प्रॉपर जॉब ओवर देयर एंड यू बी एबल टू सेटल इन दैट मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूं मैंने भी इंजीनियरिंग किया हुआ था और आज से करता हूं 20 साल पहले तो मैंने लोग ऐसे सोचते हैं कि इंजीनियर बन जाऊं फिर सोचता हूं फिर सोचता हूं करियर में क्या करूं वैसा ट्रेंड था सो इफ वेट ऑन यू वांट इफ यू वांट टू बी इंजीनियर यू नो इफ यू वांट टू बी एमबीए और कोई भी मास्टर्स का कोर्स कर रहे हैं और आपने सोचा मैं यूएस जा रहा हूं तो यूएस में आप पहुंच तो गए उसके बाद करोड़ों रुपए लाख रुपए खर्चा करने के बाद इफ यू डोंट गेट अ जॉब आपको ऑफिस आना पड़ेगा ओके बहुत से लोगों के साथ ये हो चुका है सो
For example, you know what are the common countries? Okay. If they go to Australia, they went to Australia. Okay. Or Australia, they are living in the country, but they are living in the country. One of the Australia is a common name. We are also here, all these are also being a guy. So, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? So, the objects in the best of the world are we can tell you the actual important part in our job is to be able to pass down. So, this is our expertise. We almost need to be able to pass down the education because we will not be able to tell you this. Of course, the house is up to the door to choose the app to make it choose the app to make it choose the app to make it choose the app. Yeah. 
से पांच साल का एक्सपीरियंस इंडिया में है तो वो भी आपको डायरेक्ट वैसे आपको चौदह बीस साल के अंदर की जरूरत है पर डायरेक्ट वैसे भी मिल सकती है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में या फिर कनाडा में या जो भी है और अगर आपने आईटी का कोर्स चूज करने के लिए चाहते हैं आपको इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया और इन कनाडा आई वुड नॉट सजेस्ट यू टू गो यूएस बिकॉज़ यूएस डज नॉट हैव अ गुड इमिग्रेशन प्रोग्राम राइट नाउ आईटी का कोर्स या किसी भी चीज में पीटी का मिलने के लिए इससे चार तीन साल लगता है ठीक है आई डोंट नो यू आर अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट आई एम बट इफ यू गो टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया इफ यू गो टू कनाडा इफ यू गो टू जर्मनी दीस आर द वेरी गुड कंट्रीज फॉर स्पेशली फॉर आईटी आपको इसमें रेसिडेंसी ऑप्शन मिल जाता है इसमें आपको गवर्नमेंट में तो रहते हो गवर्नमेंट में जो चीज हो तो इसमें द स्टार्टिंग पे इंसेंटिव इस अंडर टॉप होना होगा सो आई नॉट आई नॉट बिलीव इन आई नॉट बिलीव आज इस दिन है बट दिस इज व्हाट राइट नाउ द आईडी इंडिविजुअल्स आर बीइंग ओवर देयर सो इफ यू वांट टू गो आफ्टर टू आफ्टर पोस्ट करने के बाद मिनिमम एक्सपीरियंस अगर आपके पास है थ्री टू फाइव इयर्स के अंदर आप गवर्नमेंट रेसिडेंसी है अगर आप वहां के रहते हो तो एक से दो साल के एक्सपीरियंस के लिए आपको पीआर मिल जाता है Yes. Did I answer your question? Yes. So, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.